Hello beautiful, welcome to the United Way, Manchester United and their tour, pre-season tour 2023-24 with a draw against Atletico Bilbao, the Basque team. It's not very far from where I am now in Spain, but yeah, it was a very good game because uh, there are some positive uh, uh, movements, positive con uh, combinations, but there are also some very evident issues. We, we are going to talk about them in this video and one of them which is, you know, our ex-captain Ari Magwe, but also the positivity is the young players like Dango, which I was very um, impressed with. I mean, Dango, 18 years old player, imposing his, his uh, self in a team of pros. It was going to be a short one, so just give me some time, guys. Before we continue, please make sure you smash that like on the video. M guys, when the season starts, we'll be doing live videos, so don't be worried about that. We'll be communicating so make sure you click that subscribe button and click the bell so uh, i mean I, I was a bit disappointed with the spanish side not because just not because they scored us but disappointed because it's a friendly game you, you kept holding players ki killing time you know uh, uh, reducing counter attacks uh, i think it was a fair red card i think the referee was just upset already with the red card with the way they were playing i don't know they don't look fit the bilbao but well is there a problem so let's talk about manchester united this game today was a game that for those of the those who didn't play yesterday against lance they had to show some some they had to build up some it's a pr game for our team let me put it this way they had to build up some confidence with the manager i think ten Hag pretty much know the 15 16 players that will be in manchester united but he needs those players that can come in in terms of injuries. He needs those players that can that are ready to sit on the bench and also can play your your um, I mean league cups, you know, Carabao cups games. He needs to have a team. That's what I'm trying to say. And also, he needs those players who will be on the market for sale. Talking about sale, Harry Maguire, Von Donny Van de Beek, <clears throat> you know, Hannibal. There are a lot of players that I had to be that will be either on loan or on sale. So <coughs> this was um, um, a show to show their talent. And uh, also uh, Fonso, Fonso, how do you call him? Fonso, the, 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 the attacker or the winger. But yeah, guys, I just want to say personally, um, I think it was not the worst game on earth, but <coughs> uh, there are certain things we did learn. We did learn that Harry Magwe is not good enough. Harry Maguire needs to go. Harry Maguire is not a player for Manchester United. Harry Maguire basically cannot play for any top six team and do well. And it's just for one reason, his pace. I played football. I was a slow player, but I technically very high. Sorry, I'm talking about myself, but I'm trying to tell you that in the way Ten Hag wants to play, you need quick players. You know, the liberation has to be fast. The body language of Harry Maguire doesn't suit the higher level. I mean, in a top, top team. So I think Harry Maguire, if he, I mean, he needs some advice. If he does have one, I guess he does. Uh, tell him to get a team that will give him game time. A team that is playing a defensive uh, style of play. Because the reason, one of the reasons I said Harry Maguire cannot play for a top six team is because these are the teams that will want to go on the attack. Harry Maguire is not quick. Yes, he can go, but whenever the ball is against him, he's so exposed, he's too slow. You saw the game, the, the, he, every defender can make a, defend, a mistake. Everybody in the pitch can make a mistake. But the question is, how do you try to redeem it? So Harry Maguire made a mistake and he could not even cause a fault. You know, he could not because he's so heavy, so, so slumky, slum, slum how do you call it? I don't know the word to use. It's just very chunky, I'll put this word, yeah. So Harry Maguire doesn't fit to play Manchester United. It's just 100% he has to leave. But that weather doesn't dwell with Maguire very well. There were some good, uh, good also things I saw on the team. Um, uh, if I wanted to give a man a match of that, that game today, it would be Jadon Sancho, who I think was explosive. But since he's a, pro, he's a pro, I would do that for a young guy. And I think Dan Go, I am so impressed with Dan Go. I mean, the, com the commentaries that were, uh, where I was watching, they were talking about Dan Go being a dream player for a manager. And I, barely, I, be I, I really do think so. I think Dan Go needs to go on a loan and gain that confidence. 18 years old can play in the pre Premiership and, I mean, can play in a team where he gives him that confidence of dicta dictating games. Because you can see that it's a young lad who has a good reading of the game. He's physically ready, 18 years of age, his dedication is good. He, I mean, he, he, he has all the quality. The only thing he lacks is that experience. And I think he will, he will learn a lot. 
should Dango stay, I think he will not have any game time. Manchester United may be coming in and out. That would kill his development. So we need to look for a team for him. Talking about uh, Fernandez, I think Fernandez should stay. I think we could use Fernandez on Carabao Cup. Fernandez is technically very good. You saw Ten Hag was talking about Ten Fernandez at the break uh, when he was substituted. But I think he had a good game. He, he, he will learn. He is good. He is technically uh, good. He's below play. He reads up the game very well. He has the height. The physique is there. So I think he's okay. Aaron Wambasaka. I can tell you today, Aaron Wambasaka, he didn't have a fantastic game today, but he will be the first choice for Manchester United, even if Dalo starts against Bovolonto. Why? Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Wambasaka is a player which is so dedicated, doesn't complain, does what the manager do, uh, uh, tells him. And I think he, for the prim, he might, I don't want, let me put it this way, Aaron Wambasaka cannot be a good player in football, but he's a good player for the Premier League. And Manchester United will play against teams who are, are offensive. And, and we will need Aaron Ambasaka to, to cover that right position. So for me, I think that's somebody who is, going, who is, who is a first team player. Sancho, Sancho has a chance to put pressure on whosoever. The, top, the, the, the front, the front um, three for Manchester United, Sancho has a chance. All he needs to do is to count his games and impose. Sancho's biggest problem was his speed. Technique, technique is there. Experience is there, speed and uh, just focus. If Sancho, if Jason Sancho focuses on this this season, he will be called up on the English national team. So what do we have again? Ericsson, it's clear Ericsson is a good player. Who am I to say? Ericsson has already a career. Even if he wants to end it today, he has a good career. But Ericsson is not quick. Ericsson will, is a good team player at this point. He, he will have very good games for Manchester United, Ericsson. The, there are games which he's going to start. Because he has that experience, you know. He might not be a quick player, but he has that experience in the midfield. He reads the game. The older you become in football, the more you do understand your positioning and everything. Just like Evans. So, United, I think this is a good thing. United, we are mixing experience with also that youth and tenacity, which is going to make a difference. So, uh, I think Ericsson is, is, is just okay for United. Team player, but... A daily starter, I think it will be a mistake. And a player like the player who came in, the French player from Rwanda, Emeron, the guy with the dreads, Emeron, I think we should try to, I think he plays for another 21 already. Emeron has to go on a loan. He is a good player as well. And uh, he needs, you know, in football at an age, between your age of 17 to 20, you need to gain confidence. Believe me, if Rasmus Holland was in the football school, Manchester United, he will not be playing for the first team. So when you have game time in whatever champ league you play and you impose yourself, that's where that confidence comes. For the talent, most of these youth do have talent. Another player I want to talk about, which I think he was close to be the man of the match. I think he is the man of the match. Sorry, I said Dan Go because of my affection and bias, but I think it's focus on um, Pelestri. I think Pelestri should stay. They shouldn't. He won't be sold for that one. Se secondly, Pelis Pe 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 should not be, Pelistri, sorry, won should not be given on loan. They should keep him till December and see how things develop. He's a player that can come in and give a job. He is direct. He is as, he is as closer, he's closer to what we have. He's the only person which is closer to, uh, to, Gana to Ganacho. He's very direct. He can he can play he can do what the manager wants so I think Pelestri will give a should stay at uh, Manchester United so uh, yeah um, overall the goal I mean we ended we ended the the preseason for me the results didn't matter but in terms of the team I am satisfied I am not like wow but I'm satisfied with the team tell me what you think below guys what how can you rate the preseason over 10 i asked that question by the way guys on my facebook group many came with six five but let me tell you guys i rate this preseason as seven and i i can tell you in a minute why i think so because this is one of the first preseason that ten Hag studies the players understands what he has to regulate or regulate where he needs to strengthen this is one of the preseason that ten Hag has stayed with the whole team you know the first team and the reserve team so it is very important i think also the buys are not bad because we're having players that want to come to manchester united so i give the preseason for now close to a seven let's just say seven even if maradona comes tomorrow it will be a seven and i'm going to i'm going to say in another video why i think so so guys yes um I'm, as i'm leaving i want to ask you again what do you think about the preseason name me just tell me what did you like in the preseason and um 
how how much do you rate this season over 10 drop your comment below i want to get from you yeah i know most of you who write here uh, here on the channel and guys please make sure you subscribe we want you guys to be in the channel we'll be doing live content when the season kicks off sometime when we are back in the studio so please make sure you join the community anyway guys thanks for joining in and uh yes glory glory manchester united hopefully united will kick off the, the season with Robert Lonton sometime next week this week guys i'm uploading a video about the united what positions uh manchester united is going to finish next season i'm going to tell you guys why i did that last year and i won it and most people lost it so stay tuned anyway talk to you soon guys ciao ciao i want to keep it short